That's the perfume. Can I just try it? Yeah. <laughs> Can I try it? Okay, I don't taste anything yet. So apparently, this whole setup was a collaboration between Sofitel and Vogue. Where's the food? <laughs> wow, Thank you wow, for waiting. wow. How many plates are there? Three total. Hi, Chef. Nice to meet you. I'm Nicole. Nice to meet you. Uh, so lovely. This is such a lovely setup. So, can you uh, tell me more about your afternoon tea set? Please? Yeah, okay. Vanilla ice cream bar. And then we will spray this uh, vanilla purple tea. Wow, that's tea. a perfume. Can I just try it? Yeah. <laughs> can I try it? Okay, I don't taste anything yet. It's a sweet meringue. Right. Inside, we have a citra fruit, wooden hammer. Okay? A hammer, Later so this meant hammer. to crack it. Gone over here, then mm -hmm. we serve with chocolate sauce. Have a chocolate bar over Lovely. here. Lovely. 54% chocolate tart, biscuit, we... spun, and then caramel, mm -hmm. and then uh, one banana jelly. Oh, the right, dress. this is a ballerina tutu. Yes, yes. <gasps> we have strawberry, yeah, inside oh. got vanilla, and then uh, almond spun, and mm -hmm. then uh, strawberry jam. So as you can see over here, each of the dishes on the plate are delicately planned out. Everything is infused with flowers, because flower is the theme. We're gonna dive in first with the vanilla ice cream over here. Extra careful. We have the vanilla ice cream infused with tea that was sprayed on earlier and some flower petals on top. Oh, it smells like flowers. <laughs> Super crunchy vanilla chocolate on the outside. and the inside, there's some milk ice cream. I'm going to be eating so much flowers today. <laughs> oh, I do I do taste tea. Tastes a little like haagen -Dazs, the bar, but way different filling inside. Next on to, we have the pavlova with exotic fruits. And the table is so big, I can't even reach for the food. I just got to kneel down modestly real quick. It comes together with a hammer. One, two, three. Oh, it's a meringue. It's on a cream. No wonder. Look at it crumbling down. The texture is so crumbly. It's almost so soft. I'm going to try this beehive here. Okay, I think this was a prop. I don't think you're supposed to eat that. Okay, so we gently dismantled the spear over here. Taste test. The meringue is so crunchy. The more you chew on it, it becomes kind of doughy. And it's not too sweet. And I see slices of oranges and grapefruit. I just ate something. I don't know what was that, but that was really good. I'm going to try it and let you guys know how it tastes like. So refreshing. I love a nice balance of citrusy and sweet. This is the perfect one. Finally, we're moving on to the most exciting segment of the course. And I'm going to start off with the most exciting piece. So inside, it's full of chocolate ganache. So in the bottom layer, I see some chocolate sponge. The chocolate and chocolate and chocolate. So rich. A bunch of chocolate all mashed up together. It's not overpowering. Oh, this is really good, man. I really like this. And next, we have a layered chocolate cake that's shaped into a woman's high heel. This is exactly what if a banana cake and a cheesecake had a baby. So the bottom layer is your typical cake crust, thick chocolate cake stacked on top of it, followed by some vanilla cream. Then the banana cream, probably the most organic banana cream I've ever tasted. Next on to, we're moving on to the white chocolate bark over here. The staff mentioned that this is Valrana chocolate. The quality of the chocolates they use here is premium. No wonder it all tastes so good. So much flowers like everywhere. We're halfway through. I'm so full. I'm gonna <laughs> take some pictures to digest all these food away, okay? Megan, help me take some pictures, please. Hi guys, so I'm back. And next on to we have so this, as you can see, it's a flower pot. Oh no, I destroyed the flower pot. There's heaps of strawberries in it. I'm gonna try it and let you guys know how it tastes. Wow, this is really good, man. It tastes like, it tastes haagen -Dazs, like strawberry. So fresh. There's a layer of strawberry jam in between those chiffon cakes. This is definitely not your store-bought strawberry jam. I'm now gonna try the pot. The strawberry chocolate, it's good, but I personally prefer the 
lipstick cake over here. So far, this is my favorite. For the last one on this tray, we have the Ballerina Tutu Shoe. A shoe is a cream puff. Really beautiful chocolate on it. Like, I can't eat it. Never say never, I will eat it. I love the white chocolate they use here. Ooh, very soft over here. Inside, it's filled with chocolate ganache. Hazelnut ganache, this part in the middle over here. Mm, it is caramel. So over here, we have the sliced spicy squid salad. So apparently the sauce they use for this is the tomato muscat foam. So I'm gonna dig in. It tastes very fishy because of the squid. This tastes exactly like something you eat in a Japanese restaurant. This exactly tastes like shirako. I don't know, how, how does this taste like fish sperm? Okay, next onto we have Smoked salmon sandwich with caviar. Oh, it's so simple, yet it has so many flavors compacted into that tiny bite-sized sandwich. The ham was on point, cheese was on point. Everything just mixed into this beautiful combination of flavors. I loved it. This is creamy crab meat with lemon chamomile. It almost feels like agar agar. Wow, so much crab meat. The creamy crab tastes like coleslaw salad, but with crabs. They are definitely very generous with their portion sizes and everything. I like this place. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the scones served over here. Oh, it smells so buttery. It smells like a bakery. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut it into half and add in the chocolate sauce. Ooh, so sexy. There's so much flavors to the scone itself. This is not a plain scone. I taste lots of fruits in it. It has a very crumbly texture when you first bite into it. But once you start chewing it, all the flavors, the fruity flavors just seeps out of the dough. And mm, I give it like a nine out of 10. Nine? <laughs> I won't even read that, okay. We have this tiny ball of black thing here. Apparently there is a duck in here. Wow, this is the epitome of savory. You have the perfect balance of meat, truffle. I didn't really taste the lavender, but I think I ate it. Okay, next onto, we have the codfish in sakura shell and ikura. Mm, this is exactly what a codfish paste would taste like. I still prefer the black one. And lastly, over here, truffle mixed nuts with brie cheese on a slice of cracker. So I've never tasted anything like this before. It's definitely not my palate. <laughs> Guys, I'm finally done with the afternoon tea set. And so far, my experience was lovely. I love the stunning details and the decorations of this place. High floor to ceiling. Just makes the space feel more spacious and just more comfortable. I would definitely come back with my girlfriend, family, or even my date if I have one. <laughs> Also, this place is only here until the 9th of April. So if you want to snap, snap shot some cute pictures of yourself, there's so many picturesque spots over here. And the food, most importantly, was Jeff's kiss for me. Bring your tripod, bring your friend, your boyfriend. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.